Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu to some of you and peace out to the rest of you. Um, Y'all already know who this is. And you know what I'm going to ask you to do? Which button I'm going to ask you to hit? Um, the next message I record, the next video after this, may in fact not really be uh, with the introduction of Assalamu alaikum because that one's going to be um, a, a fairly warlike message. Um, I think I will address it to Cynthia G again uh, because I found uh, some new information about the cases that she mentioned um, Pace versus Alabama and uh, McLaughlin versus Florida um, I'll try to get that into the next video she was right that these cases exist and that they did have a uh, they were mentioned in the court case Loving versus Virginia she did not lie about that what conclusion she drew from the case was wrong. We'll get to that later, inshallah. Right now, I want to mention this, though. Even that is a symptom of something else, and that is that we have unequal accountability in the black community between the genders. There's no getting around it. There's no lying about it. Um, black women can say that they've been victims, but they're not going to sit up and say they've been victims of white supremacy and that, that they have not been victims of black men for the most part any more than black men have been victims of black women. Uh, so, this being said, um, no, no, we don't have equal accountability, and I'm going to show you an example to prove it. Uh, colorism is not the only symptom, but it's the one that I can uh, best illustrate along with one other example, and that is one of uh, simply being stood up for dates by attractive members of the opposite gender. Um, take colorism as an example. I've already mentioned this before, but this time I'm saying it in a much shorter video that will make it easier to remember. Listen to the women talk about it. Like I've said, don't assume they didn't go through it at all. Just question whether they went through it in actual adulthood, but don't assume they're making this up. They may have the times wrong, I don't know, but listen to them talk. Then ask a man to talk about it in private first. Then ask him to talk about it in public with his face and his name on camera and his voice unaltered and no disguise and watch how, uh, how much of a difference there is between what he will say when it's a one-on-one -on -one conversation during free time and when it is actually going to be in an interview with somebody with enough people out there listening and looking and knowing who he is. That is because men are not allowed to discuss it in our community. Now, has it gone wrong? Yes, it absolutely has. Does it hurt men and affect men? Yes, it absolutely does. Are they allowed to say what they've been through? No, it can only be a joke, but they're not allowed to say it. There you go, right there. That's one evidence, but let's take another one. And then I'm, out, I'm done with this recording and I'm going to class and start teaching. Let's take the phenomenon of being stood up by attractive members of the opposite gender. There are women who have dealt with this, there are men who have dealt with this. First of all, Look for, uh, try to find men who have had this done to them. And you're going to find uh, that there will be the, quite a few of them who will say, uh, it, that's if you know them well enough, they will say, yes, this has happened a lot. They've been through blocks of time where this was in fact a recurring pattern, where this happened multiple times. If they don't know you, they may not disclose this to you and they would have every reason not to, but... Uh, if they know you, you'll be surprised by how many will tell you this has happened and may still be happening. Now, then turn around and ask women, how many of you have had this happen to you? What you'll find is that women who know you and women who don't will be willing to tell you that this is a, a pattern that they've noticed. Now, then turn around and ask two of them the same question. What did you do to bring this on yourself? And watch the different reactions you will get when you ask the men versus when you ask the women. The accountability is not spread equally. You'll see that. Run that experiment and you will find the proof there. Don't take my word for it. Give it a shot. Come back to me in a few months. It may take you a month. It may take you six months to run the experiment. Come back let me know what it's like. Tell me what happened. I, I would be glad to know. Your findings may not match what I expect, but if you still tell me about it, uh, I'd be glad to know this. So that being said, folks, um, I'm done. Got to go to class and try to teach some spoiled mulatto better ones. Um, how to make sense in another language. Um, y'all wish me luck. I'm wishing y'all luck. 
Black Horse sign of blackout. Salam alaikum.